the jury handed down its verdict about a 30 minutes ago or so. Marilyn Mosby guilty on count two in this case, guilty of one count of mortgage fraud for lying about the source of $5,000 that she was allegedly gifted at closing. That is what she was found guilty of today. She was standing trial here on two counts of mortgage fraud related to a pur two purchases of Florida vacation properties, a home in Kissimmee in 2020. The jury found her not guilty of that charge, the charge connected to that uh, home sale. She was, however, found guilty of mortgage fraud related to her purchase of a condominium on the Florida Gulf Coast in February 2021. We're waiting for the prosecution to come out and talk to us. Possibly they have yet to leave the federal courthouse. Marilyn Mosby left a few moments ago. She said nothing. One member of her entourage made an obscene gesture when we asked for comment. Other than that, we got no comment from Marilyn Mosby or her team. We also got no comment from Marilyn Mosby's lead defense attorney, Jim Wida. He's represented her at this trial as well as her first trial, which was a perjury trial that was back in November. And that federal jury convicted her on both counts of perjury in that case. We do not know any details yet about when sentencing will happen in this case. We know sentencing in the perjury case was set to take place at the conclusion of this case. But Jim Wida, no comment from him or Marilyn Mosby's other two federal public defenders on their way out of court today. Again, no comment from Marilyn Mosby herself. One other note here, this trial for this jury stretched across four weeks. Jury selection was week one. The trial itself was three weeks, a total of 10 days. The jury got the case just before 5 p.m. last night, came back here at 930 this morning, worked as far as we know all day long, and then delivered the verdict shortly after 530. Again, the story here from U.S. District Court in Greenbelt tonight, Marilyn Mosby has been found guilty at her second federal criminal trial connected to the same matter. It was separated, the two cases separated into two trials and moved here to Greenbelt at her request. And in the end, she was convicted on three charges across four different counts in those two cases. Reporting live from Greenbelt tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, before you go and while we're waiting for the prosecution, describe for us, I know that she did not speak coming out, but she did have a reaction in the courtroom as the split verdict was read. Describe that to us. That's right. So count one was read first, followed by count two. When count one, that was related to her purchase of a home in Kissimmee, Florida, when that verdict was read as not guilty, there was a big gasp. She gasped. You could hear it and you could hear her maybe silently. It sounded like a silent sob. And then came count two in which the it was read guilty and the, there was a gasp and a huge sob and you could hear her audibly crying in court. And after that, the jury was asked on which alleged uh, lie was, did you unanimously agree that she committed? There was four choices for count two, and the jury found of those four alleged lies, according to the government, they all agreed that she lied about the source of $5,000 in closing funds. And quite frankly, she told the jury herself in her own testimony at this trial, she said she was the source of the money, even though she told the lender it was coming from her then husband, Nick Mosby. She said she did it just in case he wouldn't have the funds, but she admitted outright the money was hers and that was against the law. The jury convicted her on that count, delivered that verdict tonight, Deb. All right, Kate, thank you. A split verdict on the Marilyn Mosby federal trial. Thank you. Baltimore heard Kate's breaking update first in the WBAL TV app. Read her synopsis of this trial and get reaction in the WBAL TV app. Turn on push alerts for breaking updates. <laughs>